Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Megan and you're at 5280 Plants. Today I'm doing a walkthrough of the setup I did for my Planner Society um, Pocket TN and the kit. Um, and I also used part of the March kit that I won from Larkin Field Essentials to, uh, to kind of, I don't know, complement the kit that I bought to go with the TN. So let's, uh, let's start with the, the TN itself. Um, so Christy with the Planner Society, she did these um, custom traveler's notebooks. They are pocket sized. She did the pre-orders for them, I wanna say the end of April or the beginning of May. Um, the pre-order for the kit, however, she did at, I think, believe it was the middle of April this year when, uh, after she got back from um, Go Wild, which is the, the planner convention that was in Nashville this year, I believe. Um, <clears throat> and the kit was was what I believe she put in the, uh, in the goodie bag that she gave, to, well, she didn't give, but they bought a table and sponsored a table at Go Wild, and so they provided um, goodie bags for all the people that were sitting at the table. So I believe the kit was what um, was what came in that goodie bag, and then she made it available to all of us, which was a real treat, and it's really, really, really great thing that she did. So, and we've all been waiting very patiently, and you've been seeing um, quite a number of setups. I myself have been putting up quite a number of pictures. I took about a week and a half, yeah, it was probably close to 10 days to decide how I wanted to put this together. And then afterwards, I had stuff that I didn't feel like I could fit in there. And so I ended up making a sort of second little um, little traveler's notebook to, uh, to accompany this. So, but like I said, I'll get to this in a minute. Um, so the kit, um, this bow, I believe this bow is part of the March, um, TPS kit, the regular March kit. And then this tassel, I just made out of just some yarn. Um, this is a real easy thing to make. There's videos galore online on how to make tassels. So, um, so I'll just, let's go through this real quick. Um, and I'll point out what is part of the kit and what was not. So, so the inserts, there was three inserts that came with the kit and then there was three inserts that came with the actual traveler's notebook. I, I can't remember exactly which ones came with which anymore. I think, I don't know, each one of these inserts is a little bit different. So I'll walk you through it here in a minute. But um, so you come in here and it's just, it's a really great little TN. Um, there's the gold foil hearts in the background, which is really pretty. And the pockets are nice. And the whole thing is is finished very nicely. And the, um, the floral cover is really good quality. It's really beautifully print. And then you get elastics. And so the elastics that came with this, there's four in there. You can count them one, two, three, four. And then it came with an extra um, jump band that I, I tried to use and then decided that I didn't want to use and I was just going to put the extra, um, the extra two inserts. I was just going to put them away. And then I decided later that I was not going to put them away and I made this one instead. So, um, so kind of just some of the things that I've done, some of these die cuts, came in the kit. Some of them, like this pineapple and these suitcases, they were part of the March TPS kit. And then this rose gold washi tape I found in a tube at Michael's. Um, this journaling card came in the kit and it also came with um, a tube of sequins. And you can see a couple of the little horses in there. I apologize for the lights. I tried to get to this video all day today while my light was natural and I only just, it's like 8.45 local time, and I only just got my little to bed. And so here I am at um, almost nine o'clock at night doing a video. And so I've only got my overhead lights. I unfortunately don't have my natural light right now. But um, so I took one of those, one of the journaling cards that came in the kit. Um, originally I'd made a shaker card 
in there, but it didn't work out. And so instead I just put a couple of the little sequins in there, put some washi tape up here, put some washi tape down here. And then I decorated the back of the card. Um, this, the background is some of the bag that the, uh, the kit came in. The, um, the washi there on the right hand side is from the same ro um, roll pack that this washi was from. And then I just used some stickers. The majority, I think all of these stickers actually came out of the March, um, the March kit from March of this year, rather. And um, just some stamps and stuff like that in there. So I am kind of been moving this journaling card around in here. I have another one in here right there. And I've been like kind of back and forth on which one I like more. So that for now is living up here in this front pocket. I made this paper clip. Um, so this die cut came out of the March kit. Uh, again, there's some of the, the bag I used to back it. And um, this paper clip came from Staples. They have a whole bunch of different colors and stuff like that. So when you make these, what you wanna do, I've noticed that that work, seems to work best for me, is you take your die cut, set it down, uh, trace around it with your cutting utensil or tool. And then um, when you put your glue on there, make sure your die cut's sitting flat, put your glue on there, put your paper clip down, and then put that, that backing piece down on top of it. Because you want to, if you're gonna crimp anything, you wanna crimp the back piece. You don't wanna crimp your die cut in the front and create creases and stuff like that. You wanna crimp it in the back. So I made this paper clip. Um, I actually made four paper clips total to go in these two books. But so that that clip's right there just for now in case I want to use it. So um, in my book, my first one is my first insert rather is this one. It is kind of a notes insert. It says must do to do personal can't forget notes in this week. And then it has space up here for the month, the day and the year. This little bow paper clip did come in the kit, um, the TN kit, along with the sequins that I've used to decorate it. And now I just put just the tiniest bit of glue right there and then just put those sequins down on there. But they were also some more of the sequins with this little purple flower and then the little red, um, the little red sequins were part of that. But this, this came in the TN kit and it's going to go right there in that insert. Um, so then the next page, there was two pieces of vellum in the kit. Here's one of them. And some of these die cuts are from the kit, like this Hello Beautiful and this, this really pretty um, butterfly are from the, uh, the TN kit. And then this, uh, this adorable trench coat jacket and the pineapple down here came out of the March um, Planner Society kit. So my next insert, um, it has these, it's this real pretty blush pink with the bows on it. And this is the actual, um, I guess the weekly one. This is what I'm going to use. You know, it's a week and then two pages pretty much. Um, there's not, there's not a whole lot of room in these. So I'll get to that set up in a minute. But, um, so on the front of here, I just washi taped down one of the, the journaling cards. This card came in the March TPS kit and it says successful people never worry about about what others are doing and that is something I try to remind myself of as much as possible because it is totally true just do your thing and be fabulous and really don't don't pay attention to the haters and stuff you know just just let it all go the, the reason they're haters is because they're jealous so just let it go um the inside of this notebook and really the inside of all these little notebooks the inserts I want to decorate but the inside of this one particularly uh these two washi strips came with the TN kit. The butterfly came with the TN kit. Um, these stickers down here came with the TN kit. And so did this piece of washi right here that I've got in three different places. The stamps are out of my collection. Um, so I just did some stamp work on here. Um, the paper's not too bad as far as bleed goes. I mean, it does bleed. You can see, you can even see it in there that it does bleed, but um, it's not too bad. So. I just, on this front page, I put in goals, priority, to-do list, and favorite. And I figure what I'll do every month 
is I'll just, I'll put these in there and, um, you know, maybe I'll do like an end of the month review on the page on this side. And then my goals and priority and to do and favorites for the coming month. But, um, these stamps, these stamps came out of a bullet journal collection that I found, I think at Hobby Lobby. And then these stamps, the actual checklists and these little flowers and pineapples came out of the stamps that came with the March planner society kit. So, um, the way I've set up my week is I've got these really pretty script stamps. I don't know if you can see those too well. There they are. They're kind of coming in. Um, I used a really, really light blush pink to stamp them. And I've just got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then over here underneath these die cuts, it says notes. Um, I'm going to do, I don't know, I may take these die cuts to um, Staples and get them laminated. Um, this this tin does not have a pen loop, so that's why I've got that that beautiful rose gold clip in there, because then I have a place to put my pen. This is not the pen that I'm going to be using in this tin. Um, today was the release of the Stargazer collection from Pen Gems, so if you're on their their newsletter, their VIP is pretty much if you're on your news on their newsletter you're part of their VIP program and they sent out the uh, the link for the page this afternoon at probably well, I don't know one o'clock maybe two and well then that's again that's in Colorado it was like one o'clock too that I got that email and uh, you could go in and buy those so once once those pens get here I fully intend to change them out but I just wanted to be able to show you kind of like how I intend to clip my pen and then as I go through this, I obviously will move um, these, these two die cuts. This one came with the TN kit. Uh, this little teacup was in the March um, TPS kit. I'll be moving those little die cuts uh, around as, uh, as I go through my weeks in there. So, And I only set up, like I said, I only set up these four boxes and then this first week. And it's blank because I really, um, I know the June kits have already shipped a lot of people have been receiving them and I do have a, a personal size planner that I want to set up with my June kit um so I don't know when exactly I'll get around to using this and again I might just turn it into like a memory journal or I may start using it to uh record my quilting and knitting projects as I uh, need to get back into work on those so um but that's that's the week at a glance we're week in two pages or whatever I guess you could technically call it a, a daily log almost so it's sort of like a daily insert this one's more of a just like a day list sort of insert but and then um so and then that insert closes there and then this is the back of that piece of vellum um i'm not a huge fan of vellum sort of flapping in the wind so i instead clip it to the back of the insert that it surrounds um, and onto that insert the back of that one. I have another of those March TPS journaling cards on there and it says you are the creator of your own destiny. So just really great inspirational journaling cards in the March TPS kit. Um, on my next elastic, I have the other piece of vellum that came in the kit. This one right here. And onto it I've attached, um, these are die cuts. This one came in the TEN kit. These two were part of the March TPS kit. Um, another of the inserts. This one is a notes insert. And you can see I've decorated the inside of here. Uh, this stamp was the girl that came in the most recent TPS kit. That would have been the stamp from the May kit. Um, this, is, this is the bag. And all of this washi came in the TN kit. And then these stamps and some of these stickers and whatnot are from uh, previous kits like this. This is my all time favorite stamp so far of all the TPS stamps that I've received and that's out of the April kit. Um, and then these are out of these little stickers with the rose gold on them are out of the March kit. Um, I did make this paper clip. Now Christy on her channel does have a, um, a to do on how to make these clips. Um, they're super easy to do you just I mean, you literally just fold the ribbon over the clip and then put a little glue in there and it holds it. 
I had found this ribbon at Michael's and I'm pretty sure I reviewed it in a haul so one of my previous videos shows you all about it. I loved it because it's got those little crowns on there. Really really reminded me of the uh, the pen that came in the April kit that had the the pretty crown on the top of it on the click in the top. Um, so I made I made two of these paper clips actually. One of them turned out better than the other. This one turned out a little bit better than the other because I think I I fanned the uh, the ribbon a little bit better before the glue dried and the other one the ribbons are both kind of overlapping. But um, so I made that clip and that's in this insert which is the notes insert and that's a dot grid. You can see that dot grid. Um, so I figured I'd just use that to clip my notes so I can go to my notes as I'm doing them. So and that's that insert and then there's the other side of the um, vellum. So just real quick let me tell you about these vellums. They were they had uh, they were squared up in the corners and I used a corner rounder to round these and it's it's like a hole punch you just put it on there and you go and it just rounds that corner off. And I used, I had a small sized rounder so that it, it, it didn't trim very much off of there. And it gave this kind of just real nice rounded look to it as opposed to a more round look, make it a little more, I don't know, oblong, I guess. So um, I felt it looked a little tighter. And then when I started getting stuff in here, um, obviously it, it fit a little bit more. So, and these, these die cuts, anything that I've put on vellum, like these, these are just taped down. They've just got washi tape behind them, holding them on there. They're not, they're not permanently affixed, so that if I get down the line and I want to move these die cuts, I can. So, but so that's the second piece of vellum, and it's on my notes insert. And then my last elastic in here, um, I wanted to show you guys. So I, um, I made this little, this little folder to put my stickers in. So let me just pull that out real quick. And what I did is I took a piece of paper from the March kit. And so this is my favorite piece of paper in the March kit. And it's kind of got this, it almost looks like wallpaper on one side. And this is like a really beautiful kind of faded charcoal, like dark, dark charcoal. And then the wood grain over the flowers and the colors. I just, I really, really love this piece of paper <laughs> as ridiculous as it sounds and I've only used one of the sheets that I've got um, out of that March kit so and then these die cuts um, trying to remember I think I think these two came in the March TPS kit and this one came in the TN kit I'm not positive but I think that's where where it was but it's like a perfume bottle so but what I did for this piece of paper is I just took it and I, I cut it to the right height so it's the same exact height as these inserts in here. It's a little bit short actually. So I thought it was the same exact height. I must have must have cut it just a little bit short. Um, this acetate came out of the March TPS kit. And and you could use the acetate because there was a sheet that did come with the um, the TN kit. You could use the sheet of acetate to do this. But um, so then I just cut two pieces of that pretty deep and you you see that the, this this when it's in here sticks out farther than than the insert so the insert is shorter than this and that's fine I I kind of wanted it like that because I wanted this like I wanted to be able to put my sticker sheets in there I wasn't really pleased with um, like these sticker sheets because these so hold on let me pull this back out because I'll need it these are the sticker sheets that came in the TN kit and I've cut them down a little bit so that they'll um but originally they they came in there in this like like this and they have the the fold up here because you're supposed to be able to fold them over and when I was looking through them I was like oh these are really great and then I got to the last one which actually it wasn't this, it wasn't these two, it was these two with the quarter box and the half box. And before I cut it off, there's three tiny washi strips across the top of it. And they're beautiful washi strips, 
but they weren't they weren't sectioned off. Um, they were long, full long strips. And I used them, I went ahead and used them in my in my in my setup because I didn't want to, first of all, I didn't want to cut them. And I also didn't want to fold them. So because I think the intention was is that these were meant to to be able to be folded and then just slipped right in like pages in here. And a number of people have done that and, and that's fine, you know, um, but I didn't, I didn't want to do that. I want them to be able to lay flat. So I used those washi strips and then I cut off the excess and then I cut these, like I said, I just cut them in half so that they're a little bit smaller. And like this one, the full box one just had, um, it had the logo down at the bottom. It had a little bit of extra space down at the bottom. So there's those. And I did that so that they could fit inside here, inside this acetate. And this this came together real easily. I just used some Tombow along this edge on that, and these two edges on that piece, and along these two edges on this piece. And then again, these um, some of these die cuts came in the TN kit, like this one and this one, and some of them came in the... Um, in the March kit and because they're all this beautiful floral and the kind of the pinks and the and the purples and the greens all kind of coordinate really 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 well I just I've just got them all now together in one pack um, there's not a whole lot of them left I've used quite a bit of them but so I, I did this specifically so that these stickers could slide down in there and they do they they're, they're snug don't get me wrong but they slide down in there all the way so I've got those stickers on that side. Um, these three little sticker sheets were part of the March uh, March kit. So they're in there too because I've been using them. And there's two more of the deco sheets that came with the TN kit. And so they go over here on this side. Like that. And then these are the, the washies. You can see I've, been, I've used some of them already. But they're just, they're, you know, I mean, they're just beautiful washi strips. Let's see if I can peel it up there for you guys. So, yeah, um, so what I have left, I was going to make a washi sampler card. And then, you know, I pulled these out and I was like, oh, hey, look, I don't have to. So there's a little bit of everything in there. Um, and then this card came in the kit, the TN kit. It's another one of those cards with the, uh, with the little ST uh, pocket in the front there. So I just put the my washies down in there. I did use the bag that came in the um, in the TN kit to back it, and just I just put a whole bunch of E6000 right along that stitch line, and then stuck that down on there. And I just did that so that it has a nice a nice finish on the back. So and then that goes all right in there. So now I have all my stickers and my washi um, if I want to use them and whatnot and this slides I'm leaving it in the back here um, over this last insert because it does kind of come out sort of far and I don't want it to interfere with my uh, with my pencil or pen there so I mean mine's not as chunky as other people's and that's fine you know I've never I've never owned a pocket TM before this is my very first one and so when I was putting it together I was like I kind of like it not to be quite so chunky um, I'd rather have an accessory on the side then have it be super chunky but so this is the other journaling card I made um, again it's just washi a little bit of washi tape in there so that it doesn't um, so it doesn't it's not permanent I can bring it out so but this card came in the kit it says she plans the washi on here I got out of um, that same rose gold tube that I found at Michael's um, and I just like it's it's thin like this but I just put a couple I think I put two layers of it down here, so it kind of has that that pretty look. And then these are those those three um, three M self laminating cards. They're not, I don't know. The lamination that I got done at Staples was high quality. It was much nicer quality than that. But these they they only have stick on one side. Like they have sticky on this side, but not on this side. And note to self, like when I did this other card here, when I did this one, and grab that out. So when I did this one, I did, yeah, so there, there's more stickers on this side, and this is the non-adhesive the non side in there, and so you can't see the light doesn't reflect off of those. 
And so then the face of the card over here, um, it had all this washi and stuff on it already. And then I put those those two sequins in there and that the light only catches, excuse me, on those two sequins and a little bit on the washi. There's not, you know, there's not a whole lot of gaps actually in there because the, the adhesive surface is right down there on that actual card. Whereas this one, I've got the, the non-adhesive surface with the card. So it's got a nice smooth, like there's no bumps inside there. You can see like the light reflects right off of it. Whereas on the back, which is where all the stickers are, um, there's there's quite a, a number of text, there's texture there. Because every time there's it encounters a sticker or something like that, the um, it gives a little. So, but so this this card was white on the back. This I believe, I believe that was one of the backer cards that was in the kit. And then this this tape like came out of that washi roll. Like this tape actually right here, the the dark blue with the bows on it. I don't know if you guys everybody's seen the 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 planner girl washi that you can get from Hobby Lobby. Um, I've shown it too. Obviously I have a tube of it. Um, this blue down here and those bows came out of that tube of washi. Uh, these stickers, some of them came out of the TPS kit. Uh, some of them came out of the March kit. And that backer card is from the TPS kit or the, the TN kit, excuse me, the, the, the kit that I bought to go with this. So, but that's, that's the back of that journaling card and that's the front of it. And again, I just have a little bit of washi right there and it just sticks right in there. And it's inside that insert for the stickers or the, the folder for the stickers that I made. And then in here, this is a, it's a, just a plain grid and it says, hello, beautiful. And then this also was the other bow that came with the kit. And I've also in this one, you can see, I've taken a sequence and put it on there and just let it dry. And so that was, that was that. And so then again, that one, I'm just going to clip in here and use this probably for drawing and stuff like that. Like I said, this is, I'll probably end up using this for some of my work, my, for my quilt design work, <laughs> just because it's got, um, like the paper and stuff that I, that I would use for quilt design with the dot grid and with the um, the graph paper. I have not had a chance to decorate the inside of this yet. Um, like that other insert, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, so then there's that. And then these, I found, these are from um, Bouquet Target. <laughs> uh, they're, I picked them up some point. I can't even remember when. They kind of go, but I just, like they were the best thing I had for now. And I know I'll use sticky notes. Um, I use them all the time. And I've just got them in there. Um, I originally I had them in a planner at some point, so they have the three-hole punch in there um, from the planner, from being an insert in the planner. But for now they're just in that back pocket. So yes, yeah, so that's my TN. That's it set up, um, and it's got more danglies and stuff popping out of the top than I have ever had in any one planner ever so it's it's beautiful it's really nice I really really enjoy it so far and I'm looking forward to actually using it so and like I said it's not too chunky it's a little chunky not too chunky I'm I'm on the lean side as far as chunkiness goes here for that um and then this is the bag that that the the TN came in it it still fits down in there but not very easily with all this extra stuff hanging off of it so but we'll just put that aside um okay so this one so there had been somebody in the facebook group that asked what do you do with the acetate and i paid attention to that thread because i had the same question i've seen people make like bookmarks out of it i've seen people you you know use it to to make like transparencies in their inserts i've seen it used in the same way you use vellum where it's just tucked in there and it's just kind of floppy and loose and um, especially since it's it was so it has its own structure you know like acetate it's 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 thicker than the vellum um, and so it, it wants to lay flat and I didn't want to crease it uh, the same as the person in the thread it said she's like I don't I really don't want to crease it but is that the only way so what I did 
and I was just standing there holding it, looking at it. And then suddenly I thought, you know what? I could use it as a cover for those other two inserts because I got the four inserts in here. I didn't use the jump band, um, which left me with two inserts. And like I said, I figured I'd just store them away and maybe some point in the future I'd put them in a TN and, and use them. Um, but, and I was like, that's a real shame because they're really pretty. They're like, they're both floral, really beautiful florals. Um, so yeah, I was kind of stumped with that. And then I also remembered seeing a YouTube video of somebody who had made a TN cover out of paper out of one of their TPS kits. And I thought, you know what? I have a 1 8 inch hole punch. I have the elastics. Let's give it a try. And it worked out. <laughs> so I'll walk you through this real quick just to show you what I did. Um, so I found a piece of, the, again, this is a piece of that paper that I love so much out of the March kit. And I cut it to fit, like I used that sheet of acetate that came in the TN kit. And then cut this about, um, you know, three eighths of an inch bigger all around so that the, the cover would be larger than the acetate because I wanted to use the acetate like the lining on the inside of here so you can see it. There's my piece of acetate right there. So that I have the hearts on the inside of here the same as I have on the inside of the TM. Um, so I did that. I cut this piece of paper, rounded its corners, and then um, crimped it, put it in my hole punch, punched that hole, and then figured out where I wanted my holes up here and down here, punched those two holes, and then I got my elastics and I pulled out a piece to go around the outside and excuse me these these elastics are so tiny and the last time I used these was when I did that that faux leather ribbon TN cover the the pink one and that's actually I'm still using it I've got my um my uh, May TPS kit in it and I I I had said, you know, the next time I do this, because these elastics are so tiny, um, I'm going to braid it for this one. And that's what I've done. I, I held it up, I held it taut, and I braided it. So you can kind of see it's braided. There it goes. Um, so that one is braided. The other ones, the ones actually in there holding my inserts in place, are not. So I braided that TN, or excuse me, I braided that piece of elastic and stuck it through the hole here and then I got a piece of elastic to string through here and so you go in I like having this back here if you don't like having that back there like this one all the knots are on the inside they're all down do, 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 if you can see them here they're all down in there oh you know what I forgot to mention I I did it okay so before I started putting anything in here, I got my lighter and I sealed the ends of my elastics for this one and for the, the knot that's in there on for the actual inserts and then also for the, uh, the knot on the jump band. And like I said, you just, you hold it, you hold it and you take a lighter and you get the flame just kind of close and you'll see it melt the end of that and it'll seal it the same way like when you're, when you're making these these little doodads, you need to seal the end of that ribbon, otherwise it'll start to unravel and fray. So, I'm sorry, that was the absolute first thing I did with this, was get out a lighter and seal the ends of those bands. But, um, so I did the same thing on here. I, I put, um, I, I thread it in there, and it comes down and out, and it goes back up and over, and it comes back down and out, and it goes back up and back out. And so then one, one band, and I can get... I can get four on the inside here. So there's one, two, three, four. Um, I'm not using two of these in here, but I do have two more in there if I wanted to use them. And then I pulled these out at the end here. Only just this afternoon, I uh, made these little, these little danglies with uh, 
yeah, just some posts and some beads and some shells. And so those are on there now. And, um, and yeah, so when I figured out that I had all the holes in the right places to, to be able to accommodate these inserts and everything, I, um, then took my elastics off. I took this over to Staples and had them laminate it and it's just a general lamination it's not the real thick one um so as and the guy was telling me because I was like wow that's really stiff and he was like yeah as you use it it'll loosen up a little bit so and even even in a couple like just since last night when I got it laminated and I brought it home and I put it back together um to today like the it's it's loosened up a little bit so I'm I'm happy with it I'm really really am so then I took it I repunched those holes because when you laminate it, obviously, it, uh, it it covers those holes. I rounded the corner for the lamination because you can see it's got a little bit of a lip on it there now. Do, do, do. Is that going to show you there? There it goes. So I rounded those corners, repunched these five holes, and then I took my acetate and positioned it in here and taped it down and punched the holes in the acetate. And the acetate has all five of those holes in it too. So it's got one in the back for the uh, for this elastic, and then it's got two on the tops and two on the bottoms for the other elastics. And so it's being held in there as a as a liner almost. So, and then from there, I just I grab some of the um, like I cut this out of one of the backer cards, some of these stickers came in the TN kit, some of them came in the March TPS kit. This journaling card came in the March TPS kit. It says, if it's still in your mind, it's worth taking the risk. I thought that was appropriate, seeing as how it took me a day and a half to get this whole concept out of my mind, and it paid off. Um, I got this, I can't even remember where I got this flower. I think it was in a kit that I bought like a, a whole bunch of, I can't remember. It might have been like a, a project life kit that one of my friends was getting rid of. And I was like, I'll take those paper clips. I don't want the rest of it. Now I wish I'd taken the whole thing, but you know, live and learn. Um, so that goes in there. And again, these are not, they're not permanently fixed in there. There's just, there's just washi down in there holding those in place. So if I get tired of all of this, I can just pull it all out, store it all away, get something new. Um, here's that insert that's just the blank pages pages with the girl, the Planner Society girl for the um, the TN kit. And again, some of these some of these stickers were from the March kit. Some of them, like this strip of washi, was from the TN kit. The stamp was the same stamp that I used in here. Um, I just sort of played with the colors a little bit, so it's got a lot of pretty colors in it. And this stamp was in the April kit. Um, here's that other paper clip that I made. Like I said, I didn't feather the, I didn't feather the ribbons before the glue dried, so they're kind of right on top of one another. So, but anyway, so that's just in there for that page. And then the next insert is the other pretty floral insert. And this is the one that says my lists. And again, here's the, uh, May stamp and some of this washi came out of like this is the washi the actual washi that came with the March kit uh, this strip of washi came out of the TN kit most of these stickers came out of the March kit um, and then this die cut is out of the March kit that's my favorite print again love that print and the same thing I just I laid it down on my backing paper cut the backing paper turned it over put the glue on there set the the clip in there and then pressed my backing paper into the into the glue so that my backing paper is creased but my die cut on the front remains flat so now i have another little clip and just got that clipped on my list and it goes like that and then i um again um with the pen loop <laughs> me and my my poor woman's pen loop here it's a uh, it's just a binder clip this one has, it's it's part of a rose gold collection that I found at Target, and there was some black clips and white clips and metallic clips, and they're all in that copper or rose gold color. 
Um, again, not the pen I'm going to end up using, but just to show you where it would be, it's a placeholder. So that's just clipped on there. And then again, the acetate comes all the way through because it's acting as a lining. Uh, this journaling card came in the TN kit. I believe these florals came in the TN kit. Some of these stickers are from the March kit. This is a backer card from the March kit. Um, again, just just rounded the corners on these and they are they are taped in there. And then this this little heart clip came from uh, the, the same collection that the flower did. So um, and yeah, so that is the little sort of extra insert TN that I made to uh, all because I didn't know what to do with the estate. <laughs> but so you guys, there it is. That's what I did with my uh, my Planner Society Traveler's Notebook, pocket size Traveler's Notebook, and how I uh, I used not just the kit, the TN kit that she sold alongside it, but also the March kit. Um, one of these bows, I believe this bow, because it has this charm, was from the March kit, and this is the bow that came in the, uh, the TN kit. So, and there it is, it's a little bag and the two pieces. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with this. It's uh, it's so pretty. I do wanna get into it, I do wanna use it. And I'm so, I don't know, I'm kind of proud of myself because uh, before this, I haven't really successfully set up a TN before. And now I have, so I feel like, uh, coming into my own a little bit in the planner community. It'd be nice to to be able to to get the kits every month and to open them up and to look at them and have ideas just springing forth. So um, I'm getting there though. But if you stayed with me for the whole video, you guys, thank you so much. I'm sorry I went so long and so late. And again, I apologize for the poor lighting. Um, I have posted photographs of all of this in the Facebook page. And... Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good night, that you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you some other time. All right, good night. Bye.